Let's talk about this awesome photo printer. I, I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher the name of this company, but I believe it's called Liney. Liney? Laney? Either way, this is a great product. It can print large photos instantly. Let's dive into it. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. Let's dive into this. This is kind of a unique one. This isn't a camera. And I rarely do videos that aren't camera related or instant photography related. This is still an instant photography tool and I think it's really great. And yeah, the company did reach out to me to review this and I actually really like this. Uh, my thoughts are my own, they are not paying me however, but full disclosure, they did send me this product to test out. And like I was saying, this is a great instant photography tool to have in your arsenal. And it kind of looks like an Xbox if you're into that sort of thing. The cool thing about this is there's no ink. This is the same process and technology, if you will, that is used in the Polaroid high print. This guy right here, and I broke this down in another video already. So if you wanna check that out, there's a link in the description below. And also the same technology that's in this camera is using this as well. I did a video on this too, link in the description below if you wanna check that out. Now this can't take photos itself. You still have to use a phone to do so. But what's really neat about this is you can print really large photos, four by six to be exact. The Polaroid high print prints like that. It's about the size of an Instax photo. Pretty, pretty small, but still pretty cool. But this is a sticker, which is really neat. The Kodak, on the other hand, prints in squares, just like so. And you can even print with a border and kind of get a Polaroid-esque photo, which is pretty neat if you don't tear off the little tab on the bottom. Now the liney prints photos like this. Really large and in charge photos. Look at that. So large and the quality is superb. I mean, just look at that, look at that little handsome gentleman. Look at that. Beautiful, crisp, colors i mean really nice high resolution photos here's a size comparison between the 4x6 the high print and the kodak look at that granted the kodak you can print on the go which is pretty cool that's what this one is high print you still have to use your phone to print your photos and same thing with this also to keep in mind the 4x6 paper is not sticker paper like the high print which i do really really enjoy that sticking that stuff on the things it's really cool uh, the kodak as well is not sticker um but just something to keep in mind if you're getting this and thinking that it's the same it's the same technology just not with the stickers this thing retails for 130 dollars there'll be a link in the description if you want to grab them for yourself and the paper comes in a pack of 40 with a cartridge for 20 bucks that is quite a reasonable deal now this thing isn't quite portable. I mean, it's portable, but you can't really stick this thing in your pocket and you do have to have it plugged in to a wall to use it. Uh, so it's kind of more of a stationary thing on a desk, but look at it. I mean, I do not mind having this sitting on my desk. It looks really, really nice. So if you know about this type of technology, it's a dye sublimation process. It's a four stage thing. Uh, it does each color and then a protective layer at the end and then spits out the image. So the image as it's going is in and out, in and out, in and out, and then, it's, then it spits it out. So it takes up a little bit of room. So what they've been able to achieve with this made it to where it's compact when you're not using it. So it's not taking up a lot of desk space. But this top part is the paper and it's held in place by magnets. You pull this off and you pop this open, close that down, and you put it in the front by popping that down and and then boom, you're in business, you're ready to print. It takes up more space this way when you're using it, but when you're not using it, it just is as simple as this. And then you're done. Pretty simple and really cool. Now, worth mentioning, you do have to have backspace behind it because the image comes in and out. So keep that in mind, don't have it up against the wall or you'll just damage your photo. This ships with 20 photos right out of the box, which is pretty cool. And it comes with a cartridge for 20 photos. And the cartridge goes right in the side right here. And it's pretty simple to load. This is what it looks like, by the way. Close it up. 
really, really easy to work with. You connect to this via Wi-Fi, which is pretty cool. And it has USB-C connection as well. And the app that this comes with is super simple to operate. They're even so kind as to put a QR code on the back of their instruction manual to download the app, which is really convenient. So to connect to it, all you gotta do is turn it on and then go into your Wi-Fi settings, connect to its network, and then you, that, that's it. And you go back to the app and then you can hit print, click, select your photos. It's really, really simple. And honestly, I like that a lot. I don't like overcomplicated apps. If you look side by side from the Polaroid high print and the Laney, Laney, sorry guys, don't know how to pronounce it. You're gonna notice that, well, the size for sure, but the quality is so much better on this than it is on the Polaroid high print. I mean, this is good. This is really good, like very nice. I really love the, the Polaroid high print quality of their prints, but this guy right here, I mean, I mean, besides, you know, this handsome gentleman right there, Mr. Dave Knopp from Knopp Top YouTube channel. Shout out to you, buddy. I was visiting him in Ohio and he took me to this mural, which is absolutely amazing. Look at that thing. This is the freaking massive. And there I am for comparison. I mean, look at the car. This thing is huge. If you're, in, if you're in Ohio, check this out. I think this is in Cincinnati, by the way, actually. But anyway, but the quality, the crispness, the sharpness. Typically, when you go bigger, eh, you lose a little, a little extra quality, and the smaller ones tend to be the higher quality you know, image or product, but not in this case. This is very nice. I really like this. And it doesn't take too long to print out. It's, I would say it takes the exact amount of time as the Polaroid high print does. So about a minute to two, you know, a minute and a half or so to print the photo um, because it has to go through each stage. It does each color individually and then one last protective layer. And then at the end of the print, this actually has two perforated edges that you have to tear off instead of just one like on the uh, Polaroid high print and the Kodak. I see this being super fun at parties. You have this set up at a table and someone can just be on their phone snapping shots from the party and coming over and just hitting print and just printing off little keepsakes from said party or even weddings. This would be really cool to have at weddings. Everyone's got cameras in their pockets. Because in the olden days, what we would do at, at weddings is you'd have disposable cameras set up at each table and you walk around and you know the guests take the wedding photos and then you gather them all up and get them developed and then there you go. It's the same sort of principle that you can have this uh, this or more of them set up uh, at each place and people can just connect to the network and print it. You don't even have to have it you know technically accessible to your guests because it uses Wi-Fi. You just maybe have a QR code set up at each table. They can just scan the QR code, download the app, connect and print. It's just an idea. I think this is a great cost effective way to print really high quality large photos. Uh, the Polaroid high print is kind of expensive because this is only, I think, $20 less than this guy. Uh, and the you don't get as much paper for the, the cost. I mean, you get 40 pictures on this guy and you only get, the, I think, 20 photos with this for the same price. Nearly. I think it's $18 for, for photos and this is 20 bucks. So right around the same, but you don't get as many. Th Yet yeah, this is more portable, fits in your pocket. You know, and it charges, you don't have to worry about it being plugged into a wall. There's there's pros and cons. That's just my quick overview and thoughts of this product. I think it's really cool. I really like it. I'm actually gonna go buy in some more paper because I am almost out. When companies reach out to me for reviews on products, I don't always just say yes to get something for free. And even in some cases, if they do get it and it sucks, I don't make a video about it. I'm like, sorry guys, I'm too bad. Uh, it's, that's just the way it goes. And this is, one of those things where it doesn't suck and I've been very much enjoying it. And if you're looking to pick one up for yourself, the lovely fine people over at Liney, I'm so sorry if that's pronouncing your name wrong, probably. They decided to offer you guys a discount code if you wanna grab one for yourself. And that will be found in the description below as well. So consider checking that out if you're gonna be picking these up for yourself. Let me know if you pick one of these up and your thoughts and experiences with it or any other fun ideas you could do with it. I'm always open to hearing out some cool scenarios and things you can do with products and fun things that you can be creative with. So let me know in the comments below or consider joining the Discord. There's a link down below for that as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Now get out there, make some art.